William Hunt's several roles sponsors the Trilby Tour. The Perfect Gentleman's Playground. This week on the Trilby Tour, one man accepts the disastrous state of his golf game and learns to cry. For the Trilby Twos this year, we've landed at Magnolia Park in Buckinghamshire. Old alliances and new partnerships come together to determine who will claim the title of Trilby's top team. Coming up in the show, we have all the best of the play from a tricky day at Magnolia Park. There's an emotional four-pair, three-hole playoff to decide who will be this year's Trilby Two's champions. And we have the traditional terrible golf in Rogues Gallery. Laura Woods is seeing double on the first tee, but now here's your guide to the day, our commentator, Rob Lee. Thank you, Matt. We're at the William Hunt Trilby Twos in Buckinghamshire at Magnolia Park. Lots of regular Trilby Tourians taking part in this, but it's a more friendly affair. Not so much the pressure of playing on your own. You're with a mate. You want to play well. Here's Laura. Thank you very much, Rob. This is killing me, boys, because Robin and Martin, you aren't related in any way, but you look so similar. You're just like a stretched version, aren't you? Thank you. you. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people say that to us, actually. I think are. you'll see when we play as well, we play very similar. I was going to ask. I was going to ask, who's better? Oh, that's definitely me. Really? Definitely. He's a, he's a close second, but uh, I've got the better handicap. Why did you play? Uh, did you decide to play with each other because there's something very similar? I mean, is there something similar, or have you just fashioned your beards in the same manner? No, I mean, there's nothing sinister going on. I mean, it's just fortuitous, actually. I'm that I just supposed to. <laughs> being I'm being stalked. stalked. You willingly play pairs with him, however. Robin's a great partner. You've played the Trilby Tours separately, haven't you, and individually before? I have, yeah, but I, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't really get anywhere. I got, got somewhere the second year, but then I, th I thought, no, I'll, I'll do better with a partner, somebody to help me to sort of calm down. It's very nervous, very nervy sort of event. And Martin's a real, he's a real leveller, so I know he's very steady, he'll be scoring, and then I can come in with the odd one or two points like I did in the practice round yesterday. <laughs> Right, Robin Martin, and thank you very much, and good luck. Have a good one. So four ball, better ball with foursomes once you get to the final. This is Miller Chip, par five first hole. Plays off a five, looks like it as well. Hang on there, that's fine. Over to you, partner. Thank you very much, Rob. Uh, this is Maurice. You might recognise him because he was a former footballer in Scotland, and it was 1991 you were Footballer of the Year for Scotland, was it? Yeah, sports writers, uh, Player of the Year. 1981, yep, long time ago. Right, yeah, not that long, that's all right, you can still live in it. Still a young man, still a young man. <laughs> Talking of young men, this is your son, isn't it? Yes. How decent is he at golf? Uh, reasonable. I'll tell you I'll tell you after 18 holes today. <laughs> yeah, are you going to be carrying him? I'm used to that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> really? frequently, yeah. every weekend. Really? Have you played in the pairs before together? No, no first time, wow, no, first time, nice. just for a bit of fun. Interesting, so what do you think the dynamic is going to be like between you? Screaming and shouting. So we should keep a camera on you the whole way around, really, shouldn't we? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Have you played this course before? Yesterday afternoon. We, we drove down from Scotland yesterday and played yesterday afternoon. What did you make of it? Uh, it was quite difficult yesterday, so yeah. we'll see how it is today. We've got our eye on you, boys. Thank you very much. Good luck. Right, Morris, let's have a look at it. No glove. 
Yeah, nice. Nicely done. Not too much run down the rough line, though. Rob, thank you very much. Who do I have here? Uh, Julian Wright. Julian. And Edward Tong. Edward, now, we recognise you guys because you've been on the pairs a fair few times before. Uh, tell us how you've done. Uh, last year, we came equal fourth last year. Equal fourth. So you're back with a vengeance this year? Oh, yeah, we want to get into the playoffs if we can properly this time. Have you played this before, this no, course? No, no. Not even a practice? Not even a practice. Oh, wow. Do you like playing courses blind? Why not? Why not? We've, we've got exactly. a course planner. Why not? Yeah. You as well blind yeah, as well? blind as well, yeah. Excellent. Boys, I can't wait to see you play. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Edward Tong doesn't play as much as his partner, Julian Wright. One's got to be right and one's got to be Tong. Stop. Go in there. Robin with the reigning pairs, champions Jamie and Chris. Boys, thank you very much for joining us. You're back, defending your title. How confident are you that you're going to retain it? Uh, <laughs> we're both playing. We're playing okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit breezy. It's a little bit cold today. Yeah. But um, quietly confident, yeah. I, would, I would say, yes. Yeah. Let's remind ourselves about last year because it was quite a, a twist in fortune from playing uh, all the way through the day to then playing in the, in the final. Tell me about it. Last year, Jamie played really well. Yeah. And this year, I'm coming in with a lot more confidence. So yeah. I'm hoping we do better and actually be retaining the title. <laughs> really good you did a very good job he's not used to this and he doesn't enjoy it that much but this is the whole part of the drill tour isn't it that you are playing yeah. in front of cameras and you're doing things that you wouldn't normally do in a normal round of golf you seem to have got very good at that though uh, I don't know it makes me play better actually really? weirdly yeah yeah I play terribly when we just play it's a strange one yeah. no I can't shut you up what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what about you two playing as a pair you're obviously friends and stuff like that but I mean in golf you're going to be spending a lot of time together throughout the day why do you enjoy playing together uh, we played golf together for years oh. 15 15, 20 years now, probably, yeah. yeah. So we know each other's game pretty well, which helps, yeah. It's obviously, you're obviously doing something right together. We obviously try our best every time we are out there, so yeah. we don't get critical with each other. You know you're going to play good and bad shots, yeah. so. Well, look, boys, good luck. We're looking forward to seeing what you can do and if you can retain it. So have a good one. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Always nice to come back to the twos as reigning champs. Percy's tee shot. Yeah, he's left nothing behind there, has he? Well, he's absolutely flushed this. Now, he's got to be pleased with that. Very pleased with that. Little Thomas Bjorn hop, skip and a jump there. Let's get ahead to Morris Malpass at the seventh, par three. Playing with his boy. His big boy. Breeze starting to get up. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Millie Chips third at the fourth. Keep going, keep going. Oh, it's well judged, isn't it? Brilliant shot. Funny little pockets of the golf course, not too much wind. You get out to the exposed areas and it's windy. Heading for home now and 25 points for Tong and his partner Julian Wright. Very good indeed, very good indeed. This is a pairing to look out for. Par 5, 13th. And 24 points so far for the reigning champions, Percy and Vos. On you come, on you come. Oh, yes. Eagle putt. It's only about 10 minutes away. Malpass found the green. And that's his right to left across the slope. Sit, sit, sit. Morris getting that one all wrong. Made a chip for the par. Remember, better ball all the way to the final. Then it changes to foursomes. 37 points leading in the clubhouse, but that's a doubtful, a doubtful total. Make it through at the final four. Vos for the eagle. It's not been a good day. Only 24 points to this part of the course. That left for a birdie will improve things. Tong's birdie putt for the two, and how did that not go in? However, things did pick up significantly. 45 points, new clubhouse leaders. James Vos, three really good shots to here, and yes, right in the middle. Good birdie, much needed too. 
Morris's approach putt swung 10 feet left at the end. So this is the 10-footer for the par, which he makes. Excellent. 39 points for son and dad, the Malpasses. They're in the departure lounge. Wait to see if they make it through. Paul and his son, Leon, you'll obviously know Paul because he's a world champion. And you've got a lot of experience on the Trilby Tour. And you brought your son along. What can, what's he going to bring to the table? Um, a few shots. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, no, he plays off 14. So... Um, he joined the golf club this year. Um, he's played in the Trilby in the teens last year, yeah. got a taste for it. And I said, what well, do you want to play up as a pairs this year and see how it goes? So we've been drilling him for the last couple of months ready for this. Wowzers. What can you learn off your dad? Because he's not bad, is he? Um, how to cope with the cameras, basically. It's, well, obviously he's used to it now and then yeah. see how we go around the round. You're doing all right so far. You're taking a few steps back. You're as far <laughs> away from me as physically possible. So obviously a little bit more practice due there. But what about your golf? Oh, no, it's all right. So. We'll just see how it goes, yeah. see if I can play into the game. Yeah. What do you like about pairs? Because it's, you know, it's kind of in both of your hands and you're used to playing on your own. Yeah, well, it's nice to, um, when he'll, he'll tee off first. We've got a game plan, he'll tee off first and hopefully allow me to attack it a little bit. Yeah. Which is not normally our, our game. Normally we play kind of conservative, play away in. Um, but this, you know, today we might be able to have a, have a good crack at it. Happy with your golf in general this year? Yeah, we've been working uh, on a plan. I've just come back from a week in Turkey, which I've Lovely. spent um, practicing ready for the final next week. Yeah. So um, we'll see what happens. Thought you had a nice colour on you. Well, yeah, it's not fake tan, unfortunately. <laughs> Mine is. That's <laughs> yeah, what that looks can like. See that, yeah. <laughs> All right, boys. Good luck. <laughs> see you later. Thanks well done. Now, Leon Llewellyn. Let's see if he's a chip off the old block. Yeah, nice. Good swat. Plays off 14. And if he keeps hitting shots like that, it could be the Llewellyns all the way through to the end. We shall see. More Trilby Tour when we come back after the break. The Perfect Gentleman's Playground. Welcome back. The Trilby Tour in full bloom. We're here at Magnolia Park in Buckinghamshire for the William Hunt Trilby Twos. 45 points, the best of the day from Tong and Wright. So that's what the rest of the players are shooting at in their pairs for ball better ball. To James Vos, defending champion, 35 points, two holes to go. Really strong finish, could get into the 40s. Now this one just pushed a little... Well, it's not on the green. He's chipping. Leon Llewellyn, second to the par 5, 13. Sort of a lie that he have. Uh, yeah, that's all right. That's okay. Chipping a putt, birdie. Pitching a putt. That's what's left. Leaden skies, but the weather's still good. So, Vos. Chip and run. Down to the hole. Nearly. Nearly. Leon's third. Dad watching. Dave watching. Everyone's watching. Super, super, super shot from Leon Llewellyn. Vos for the par. And a couple of points. So he gets that. 39 points. Well, James Vos has had to carry Chris Percy before, but not on this occasion. It's his son with a mini, mini Trilby hat on. Beautiful. Leon Llewellyn for the birdie at 13. 31 points. This is looking promising. Yes, excellent four. Very well played. To Lauren William. Thank you very much, Rob. You can't mistake this man. It is William Hunt. This is your tour, Will. It's the first time that we've been here at to Magnolia Park. You happy to be here? Yeah, it's uh, it's a great day. It's, it's wonderful seeing guys working together as pairs, yeah. and sometimes they're not working together as pairs. <laughs> they are, you know, when you see look, the arguments, and, and they're here <laughs> with the best laid plans that go hor horribly wrong. <laughs> And uh, it's wonderful to see. There's a lot of guys. That, I mean, there's a real mix of fortune between these two guys, you know, in, in various different pairs. Some people are really carrying the others, aren't they? Yeah, we have a few camels and, uh, <laughs> and a, a few sort of um, passengers. Um, you know, I, I love it when they're all there with like, working out their plans and, and the, the tactics and then go and shank it into the woods. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's fantastic. But the, everyone's got a smile on their face or people have just not talked to each other after the 18th. <laughs> you know, it's... Uh, yeah, it's a fantastic day. It, it's a different than the single because it brings people together yeah. and then makes them fall out again afterwards. <laughs> exactly. There is a place in the finals up for stake, isn't it, for our winners? And that's why there's some people here that are actually thinking, right, I want to improve on last last year and I want to go to Hull. The top two get through to the to the uh, singles final. Uh, it's a big prize. 
And, uh, and you, it, the, the, the strange thing is you can get through by playing badly <laughs> here today because you, you, your partner can carry yeah, you. Okay, yeah. yeah, and um, we see the same faces and, and, and sometimes with different partners. And it's great when you see that guys that were all friends last year and they split up. It's like, it's like divorced each other. Mm -hmm. But it's a fun day out. It is the fun end of the Trilby Tour. Yeah. And, uh, but it, as always, you know, the last four um, teams get a bit serious at the end. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thank you so much. Rob, we'll pass it back to you. Thanks, Laura. Let's get back out to the golf course with Rocky Llewellyn himself. This time at 1741 points, the pair, father and son. And try and finish this off nicely. And they might just do that. Lovely shot. Rocky. Dave got the club cleaning it. Grooves glistening. Let's get to the par 4 15th. Paul Burns. His partner is Paul Isherwood. Burns off of 6. Isherwood off 12. Getting a few useful shots. Richard Harper, who's no stranger to being a champion on the Trilby Tour. Came up trumps in Derbyshire. And that's how he did it, hitting shots like that. So Harper putting, Burns chipping. He just tried to help that one up in the air. Needed less help. Paul the in for the two. 44 points if this goes in. Oh, now Leon, you can have a go at your dad there, leaving that short, that was pathetic. However, 47 points, new clubhouse lead. Burns, go on. Very unlucky, very unlucky. The left-hander, Harper's birdie part at the 12th, 26 points so far. People tending to score very well towards the end and 41 points is right now in a playoff position. So they're stewing and waiting and watching. Wishing harm on everybody. It looks like beating them. It won't be Burns. Oh, it's a beautiful way to finish. 41 points. You never know. Issue word on Burns. Playoff position, 41 points. That made all the difference. That part hold in the last green. Crucial. Okay, let's get back to Laura. Who takes us through the playoff holes. Thank you very much, Rob. So let's take a look at the playoff holes then here at Magnolia Park. They are holes 16, 17, 18 of pass 4, 3 and 5. And here to talk us through it is the president at Magnolia Park, Mr. Connolly. Hello, Martin. Thank you for joining us. Not too bad, thank you. Let's start with this one. This is the 16th. There's a dog leg down to the left. Talk us through how you play this hole. Well, the smart play is off the tee. It's also to him down the left-hand side. Anywhere down the right, you're blocked out by, by the bush, by, by the trees. Um, you must actually hit this area. You get a straight shot into the green behind me. Slight bowl shaped bunkers um, on the right and on the left. Smart play is to go for the top of the green and let the ball drift in right to left into the pin. So that's how you do play it. Where do you not want to end? You don't want to go anywhere left. There's out of bounds left where, where the driving range is. There's a tree in the left which blocks you right from the green. And also with a ditch that runs around the whole, the whole length of the fairway, you can't be shot, you must, you must be shot of that. You can't off the tee, your big hitters can go over the ditch, but it's a dangerous shot, there's not much value in it. So the, you know, the place not to go is left. All right, Martin, here we are on the 17th tee. This is a par three. Have a look behind us. Ditches and bunkers everywhere. It's quite dangerous to go straight for the tee on this one, isn't it? Very much so, yes. The smart play is to take an iron off the tee and hit a softy shot to the front of the green. Yeah. That's the pros advice. The danger is, as you can see, there's a tree which is blocking you out from quite a bit of the green and also the ditches on the left hand side. Uh, the green is quite a generous green from back to front but as I say the smart way, hit the front of the green, take your punishment to putt it. Same as the last one, don't end up left eh? Not go left, the left is um, you're in, you're in um, very much trouble. You're in trouble yeah. Very much trouble yeah. <laughs> and you're probably dro dropping out the ditch for, for a penalty shot. All right, let's go check out the 18th. Martin, this is the 18th, the final playoff hole. It's a par five. Talk me through this one. It's a long par five, dog leg right off the tee. Uh, lots of hazard in this hole, including bunkers, lots of rough, lots of water. Normally a club player would play in three shots. Big hitters can take it on in two if they get a good tee shot away. But the danger is all around you, uh, actually trees 
bunkers and water. The smart play is to play up the right hand side, gives you a shot into the green because the pin today is cut on the left hand side. So it gives you a view of the green and it gives you a view of the pin and you can actually hit the ball so it runs down from right to left onto the pin. By the time our golfers get here they would have played 18 regular holes, two playoff holes, this will be the last one they play. There's going to be some tired legs aren't there? Very tired. I'd imagine there'll be some players who will lose a bit of concentration and maybe hit a few silly shots but if they're good enough to get to the playoff, they're good enough to play three playoff holes and I wish them the best of luck. Absolutely, thank you very much. Rob, back to you. Thanks guys, yeah, 16, 17 and 18, looking forward to the final. Different discipline, this is four ball better ball to qualify and then once in the final, it's foursomes, deadly foursomes, alternate shot. If you're American, let's get to a couple of hull lads. Lee Morris playing for the 16, tee shot at the 11th. Kevin Pratt is his partner. And that's left, how far left? Mm, it's over there, long way left. That'll be some up and down. Now the tale of two Simons. This is Hughes. He's playing with Lewis. Second at 15. Four handicapper. So a good hitter. And that's well done with a stroke. 15th is the second hardest hole. And the 16th is the fourth hardest hole. Lee Morris finished over here at the par 3 11th. Now crosses everything. A little bit of chase once it gets onto the green. I was going to say it wasn't far off being very good, but it was a long way off being very good. Hughes for the birdie. Go on. Very nearly. Has a stroke. It will be three points. Lee Morris, long, long par putt. Turning right to left and drained it. Brilliant. 44 points. Pat Morris looking good. Playoff position. Wonderful putt. This is the other Simon, Simon Lewis, who's not had the best year health-wise, but great to see him back out in the Trilby Tour. And competing well. Superb chip. Top draw. 42 points for Lewis and Hughes. And that is a playoff position. So no need for a nearest to pin. We have a clean top four in Llewellyn and Llewellyn, Wright and Tong, Pratt and Morris, Lewis and Hughes. Pick your own favorite solicitors out of that lot. Time now for this week's Hunt's Hunch. Four teams here now. You've got the Llewellyns. Do I need to say anything? You've got Julian Wright and Edward Tang. Good players, and you know they've been around the block a few times on the Trilby Tour. Kevin Pratt, he can play that boy. And he's got experience. Don't know much about Lee Morris, his partner, but they're very confident, the pair of them. Very confident, and they look good. Simon Hughes and Simon Lewis. Good players, good players. But I don't know if they've got enough. You know, if I'm a betting man, which I've been all season, and lost a fortune. Who could bet against the Llewellyns? You have to. Out of your mind if you did. Thankfully for us, William is completely out of his mind. Those are the four finalists, and we'll crack on with that in foursome style when we come back. The perfect gentleman's playground. Welcome back to Magnolia Park for the playoff for the 2017 William Hunt Trilby Twos. Four pairs play three holes and eventually we find the champion in the foursomes format. We're going to play 16, 17 and 18. Should be really interesting. Please welcome to the tee, first for Llewellyn and Llewellyn, Leon Llewellyn. Uh, well, he had a couple of birdies with, with shots, which you know, really put the score up. Um, but he's, you know, he's been working hard on his game the last few months, dedicating it for this. So, you know, he's been doing a lot of work with Dave, the caddy. Um, so it's paid off, um, and you know, the course has suited him. So, it's uh, yeah, looking forward to the final playoff. The singles is there's only one person, and the pressure's all on you. Um, with the pairs, it, you know, if he's if he's in play and he's, you know, and he's playing well, it allows me to have a hit shots that I probably wouldn't normally have hit like in some par fives today that I've managed to land into where there was no way I would go for it in regulation and in singles so it gave me a little bit of flexibility um, and it paid off you know it, a bit of risk and reward and the risk paid off and you know, that's why we're here so Leon with the honour at 16 father watching and a 
this one's not going as straight as you would like. Where's it going to finish? Next on the team, oh, in the woods. Yeah, no one's right, no one's tongue. Well, both players playing off a 15 handicap. Very useful indeed. Without a hitch. Yeah, we only have one hole where we, we scored one point and uh, where we three footed. Apart from that, solid. You might tee off differently on 16 if yeah, we do it that way. Play around. 16 a bit but, different. Uh, yeah. We parred, we parred 16, 17, and 18 actually. So yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's good. Now, can he find the fairway? Always pressuring foursomes. I'll take that. Seeing off next for the team of Pratt and Morris. Please welcome Mr. Kevin Pratt. Kevin Pratt and Lee Morris, been friends for a long, long time. We both actually, we both came in on different holes, so and um, we both played really well. It won't, one did more than the other. It was, but it was just a team effort, to be honest. So it yeah, was really good, so, yeah, we just we backed each other up, and that's when you're doing these sort of things. That's what you've got to do. You know what I mean? When you've got shots, so if I've got a shot and Kevin, I've got to come in, and, and it, we just did it. So it was. It was good today, it was nice to get on the leaders board, so it's good for us. Let's just say we're going to go up there, we're going to enjoy ourselves, we're playing against some other good lads. Let's uh, we just go up there and have a bit of fun and, and see what happens. It'll and be that's fantastic all to win, won't it? Yeah, that's what we've come here for. Pratt and Morris make Hull proud. It's Pratt's tee shot. A little bit down the right, maybe. I'm next on tee. Representing the team of Hughes and Lewis. Your applause, please, for Mr. Simon Hughes. Here come the two Simons, a couple of veteran Trilby Turians. Yeah, we had a good, the front line was good. We had six net birdies on the front line, shit sort of shared between us. And back nine was just yeah, a little bit holding on, really, but, um, but pretty evenly between us, I think. It'll make my year. Make my year, really would. I've been I've been looking for the final for six years, so um, yeah, it's, it's nice to be there. So we've just got to push it that little bit further. Well, Simon Hughes to tee off. Well, that should be all right, line-wise. It looks pretty good. It is pretty good. Over to you, partner. Right down the middle. Absolutely no complaints. Perfect. Foursomes. It's dodgy. It's edgy, isn't it? It's a great way to decide a pairs. Well, Leon Llewellyn went so far left, he's actually left his dad with a swing. He's in the clear, but he's got trees in his way, Rocky. And half a lie here. He's having a go, up and over. Now, oh, we can't pick that one out in flight, but he's got it greenside. He's done very well from there. Very unusual line in. Tong's effort from the right rough. Well, he made a nice pass at this. Is it enough club? No, he sort of just swatted it down the fairway. Try and make par the hard way. That's what he's got left. Lee Morris. He's having a go at the green here. And that pushed. Oh, and that could be awful there. That could be a rum finish for the boys from Hull. Simon Lewis is lucky to be here, really. He's been having cancer treatment and his doctor through complications said you know the best thing you could do is go out and play this trilby tour and and we're glad to have him here a respite from what's been a tough year treatment wise and a very good shot pratt hacking well he got the club on the ball somehow stop maybe maybe just shy of the sand isn't foursomes difficult Julian Wright playing from the Edward Tong layup, and that's them there in three. They might make their par. Boys from Hull did find the bunker. So now fourth. Still not putting, not on the putting surface anyway. And playing their way out of contention. Leon Llewellyn, errant tee shot, dad recovered to here. Trying to make up for it with a pitch. Yeah, it's superb. This would be some par for the Wellens. And it was with a shot. One under par as they head into 17, the par three. Simon Hughes chipping with a shot. Oh, get close. 
Magnificent. That's going to be another net birdie. One under par, Lewis and Hughes heading to 17 as well, matching the Llewellyns. Pratt's fifth shot. Don't take a wide backswing here, for goodness sake. Oh. Chipped it well. Now that's going to be six at the very best, net five. Tong for the par. Little five, net four. Their level, right and tong. Six, net five. One over par. Two behind, two to play. If that had gone in, but it hasn't. So with a shot, it's plus two for Pratt and Morris. Par three and a par five left to play. And here we are on the 17th tee. Oh, I'll tell you what, I mean, the Lorenz got out of jail there, didn't he? You know, his dad... But, Dad got the son out of jail. Um, Kevin Pratt, I mean, he's, he's in trouble now. He's, 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 you know, and he's let his partner down, Lee. They're, they're, they're not in it anymore. And uh, Julian and and and, uh, and Edward, they've got a chance, but they're coming up against two tough players. Simon Hughes and Simon Lewis, there's a, re there's a big sacrifice one of those guys made it to be here today. And whilst I know Lorenzo will win, there's a couple of guys, there's one guy in particular I'd like to win this today for the sacrifice he's made to be here. So, Leon hit the tee shot at 16. It's Dad. Rocky at 17. Don't let me down, Dad. Dad? Dad, what are you doing? Oh. Simon Lewis. Looking swing that. And you're on the green will do. And he's found the putting surface. That's not far away either. What a chance for his partner. The other Simon. Tong with the honour. And that's starting to turn left. Over there. Oh, dear, dear, dear. There's gnomes and all sorts of nasties over there. Morris to make up for it. Chasing now at plus one. Shouts of four, never good on par threes. And that's down in a gully. Left of 17 is not the place to be. So first up, Julian Wright. Get up. Yeah, he's done well to get it that far. Restricted backswing and that was not easy. Thanks a lot, partner. Pratt's second up the hill, semi-blind. Oh, it's a low sculler. Into the bank. Considering how it came off the club face, that's done very well. Tong's third now. Picture's becoming clearer. You can see why left is no man's land. Pin cut left. No shot from down there, even with those sideburns. Young Llewellyn, Leon. Dad put me in a bunker. Dad? So the Llewellyns have played two. This is a wonderful opportunity for Simon Hughes. Under par already, and another birdie putt. That will do, that'll do. Simon Lewis taps it in, so they remain one under par with a hole to play. They're the pair to beat. Par attempt for Lee Morris. And their race is run, you fancy. Two over par, too far back. But a splendid effort to get into the final. And it might be the same story for Wright and Tong. Two over par, gone. The only thing is that's slightly helpful is that it's foursomes and things can happen. This is for the par to remain one under par and stay tied at the top for Rocky Llewellyn. Nearly. But Leon knocked it in, so they drop a shot and go back to level. And we have a clear leader. It's the two Simons. 
as they get onto the 18th tee, par five. Lots can happen. Team Pratt Morris, it's all over, boys. Sorry. Right and Tong, that's all over too. So it's good night, you two teams. Stella Wellens versus Hughes and Lewis. You know, who can you predict? As I said before, there's a massive sacrifice for one guy to be here today. It's got to be the Wellens. It's gone for the Wellens. Hasn't gone for Simon Hughes. Now it's cutting, but did he start it far enough left? He didn't, but there's no danger there. That's fine. Leon Llewellyn taking the even holes. And that's a big old thump down there, down the other side. Sitting well, though. Pratt. At two over with his partner, Lee Morris. Edward Tong was going to play with his brother, but in the end, two Tongs don't make a right, so... This is Julian Wright. So, centre of the fairway. Well, left half. That'll do. It is a par five. More than one way to make a birdie. Tong with the second. It's a low scuffler, but no harm done. Keep running, keep running. Partner can get on in three. Rocky, off its son's tee shot. Just get it back in play. Plays the percentages, Rocky. That's why he features so many times. Doesn't take unnecessary risks. Have it, Dave. Simon Lewis this time. All playing a three-shot strategy. There's trouble down there, so you can't be reckless. And that's absolutely fine. You're one under par. Make the others come to you. Don't make a mistake in foursomes. Par might be good enough. Morris with a second. Over the top of the trees. Get it back in play. Make a birdie and pray for a disaster. So let's see if Julian Wright can knock it on the green here. Crowd thinks so. Yeah, wonderful shot. So birdie putt of some 25 feet. Pratt's third. Also well struck. Is this better? Better for line. Too much club. Way too much club. Simon Hughes, watched by his partner, Simon Lewis. Just get me on the green, son. Anywhere on the green. They're so close to taking this title. And he's done that. Well done. One under par, playing the last par five on the green in three. Perfect. Leon. Trying to be aggressive with this. Forced the issue. Swing was excellent. The shot was. It was just half a club too much. So chipping and putting to be done. Especially for Lee Morris representing Hull. And of course we go to Hull for the World Championship final. Superb shot. Yeah, that's a nice way to finish. Thank you, partner. Well played, fellas. Wasn't quite to be. Simon Lewis for a birdie. A birdie. Already one under par with his other Simon partner. It looks simple, Simon. Go on. It's one of those, isn't it? It's one of those you don't want to have on the last. Tong's birdie attempt. Cross-handed, glove on. Got it all going. Tough putt. A lot of swing from the right-hand side. Kind of irrelevant anyway. They were out of it. So it won't be them. Tong and right, no more. It's between the Llewellyns and the Simons. Rocky for the birdie. Thanks, Dad not 
Well, now Leon really does have to hold this one. The pressure is on. Can the youngster stand up to it? He can't. He's rifled it past the right edge. And as others implode, the signs are clear for Simon Hughes, a putt for the par. And he lips out, so they drop a shot and go back to level par. But that's still going to be good enough, I reckon. Because this is shot number six for the Llewellyns. Bogey, foursomes, par five to finish. They'll be kicking themselves. They can't win. So Simon Lewis, what a moment. Tough year health-wise, fighting prostate cancer. The doctor said, get out there and play the Trilby Tour. And that is a winning putt, a championship winning putt. The Trilby Twos go to the two Simons, Lewis and Hughes. A very, very well won tournament from the pair of them and an emotional finish, especially for Simon Lewis. Everything to me, it means everything. Yeah, that's a, that's a big win. That's a big win. That's the best win I've ever had. Um, I can't say enough about it. It, it. Six years, as I've just said, of hard work. I've had some bad rounds in the Trilby. I've really had some r really bad rounds, but this one, yeah, I've had a bad year um, health-wise. But this, this is uh, the Trilby has given me something to actually play for, you know, or to, to, to keep going for. It's a, it's a goal of mine that I've always liked and I've always wanted to achieve it. And to put off what I've had to put off for next week, then yeah, it's all worthwhile, all worthwhile. So cut me because I'm gonna. <laughs> And we are delighted to inform you that since the event, Simon Lewis has been given the all cleared by his doctors and is on his way to making a full recovery. Shot of the day goes to Stuart Connell for this more than tidy approach to the pin on the 15th. But now, let's see if there's double the fun in Rogue's Gallery, starting on the first with one of the day's first tee shots from Alan Murray, who should just maybe try and enjoy the walk. What do you say, Alan? Mark Hume on the 8th seems to quite like being out of position and so decides to shun the fairway for a little longer. Although it does seem a bit harsh of him to try and remain out of position by aiming his ball right at our cameraman Joe's face. One of our favourite regular rogues entries is the shot that sees the ball end up further from the hole than when it started. So thanks for this example, Steve Bond. A lovely pose, by the way. A chance to see how people cope with the lake on 15 now, with Simon Knapman demonstrating the classic low big splasher, complete with dramatic post-shot sulk. Paul Burns sets a low shot to a more distant part of the pond, which may explain his total lack of splash. While Alan Findlitter may have trouble living up to his name, as he'll need a snorkel to find that one later, Find later, find later, no, never mind. Let's watch Terry Gulliver curtail his travels when his ball doesn't even reach the drink. Showing huge emotional growth on the 12th is Danny Johnson, who has learned not to bottle up his feelings, but to cry like a baby when he misses. Go on, Danny boy, let it all out. Dan's playing partner Dean Skiro, however, is still at the stage where a terrible shot is met with quiet dignity, determined stoicism and a gentle thrashing for his club. Concerned that we weren't seeing enough ragweed in the show, John Jones helpfully encourages our cameraman to widen his shot by selflessly duffing this one. Now, look at all that ragweed. And Chris Windus goes one step further and actually dives into the midst of the ragweed to ensure we get a decent shot, which is, in truth, a lot more than Chris managed to achieve. But the greatest contribution to ragweed shot gathering comes from Paul Davis, who plays his ball completely sideways. And finally, taking pickup refusal to undreamt of new heights is Trevor Haig on the 15th. If at first you fail to pick up, then refuse. Refuse and refuse again. That's not the way to do it, Trev. Now, here's an emotional William. You know, Paul's a really good pal of mine over the years, and it's hard to... I can't back against him, because he's it, a, you know, 
people say things about Paul and, and he's a hard guy as I said like, off, the, off the course he's a fantastic guy it? but on the course he'll run his granny over for another point can never back against a, a Llewellyn but those guys wanted more tonight and it meant I think it meant more which is a surprising thing to say about a, a Llewellyn the right guys won that's it what more can you say we saw what it meant to him that's the truth we're talking Next week, it's the big one, the World Championship Final. This year's regional champs and the qualifiers from all round the country meet at Hull Golf Club to see who'll be crowned 2017 Trilby Tour World Champion. In the meantime, if you'd like to get involved in the Trilby Tour, please contact us via the website at www.trilbytour.com. We'll see you next week. William Hunt's Savile Row sponsors the Trilby Tour. The perfect gentleman's playground.